Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to perform Excel data manipulations. For today, we are going to create a robot that adds the value of column A with values on column B and writes them in column C in different ways. So I'm going to show two ways here. Keep the Excel open and write the result in real time, row by row, so you can see the changes, or keeps the Excel closed and set the column values in the memory of a data table and adds all the table to the Excel file at once. So first, we need to understand our Excel file. If I open my sum.xlxs, I'm going to read the column A and B, and then I write it at column C. So over here, I'm going to use terminate process first. to ensure my Excel is always closed when the robot runs. And then I will start off with launch Excel. And I set this as visible. Next, I will use get first free row. And then, since I know I'm going to write from A1 and I'm going to read B1 and then I'm going to write at C1, so I can make use of the loop action. Navigate to my loop and I will start from 1 and to my first free row minus 1, increment by 1, and the store in. A variable of loop index. So from here, I will use read from Excel worksheet. I'll read from column A, and this will be my loop index, and I will store this as column A. And I will do the same for column B. Next, I'm going to write here, right? So there are two ways here, either we use column A plus column B, or we can make use of the formula which is equals to sum bracket A1 comma B1, right? So I'm going to copy this, and I use write to Excel worksheet, and I paste the formula here, and I change the 1 to our loop index. And then lastly, I'm going to use close Excel and save document. All right, so let's run this flow. Alright, so I interrupt the robot. Apologies, let me. So, as you can see here, it's actually able to manipulate all the data accordingly. So, we have already completed for part one. Next, I'm going to show part two onwards, which is we are going to store, we are going to read all this record in a data table. So, in this case, right, we will, the first step we will make use of is change this to disable. And then we will read from Excel worksheet value from a range of cells, start at column A, row 1, and at column B to first free row minus 1. Over here, we cannot set as B. Why? It's because if we read from A to B, Power Automate only have a memory of column A to B. 
we are required to update the column C. So we should actually set the value as read from column A to C. Then we can make use of our for each loop to basically manipulate the values of our column C. And I will store this inside Excel data. And I will remove this. And we will no longer use the loop index here. We will make use of for each action for each Excel data in current item. Okay, so over here I need to have a row counter. So a uh, data table it always start from zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So let's create a variable here. Set variable. For our row counter. And I set it as 0. Okay, and then of course, every time we look, we are going to increase the variable by 1. Of our row counter by one. Okay, so now we are going to read this value and then append it to our C. So over here, let's use convert to number, convert text to number of our column A. So our column A. Is basically using current item and remember it's an index right so if we start at zero we put it as column a and do the same for column b next we are going to set the variable of our Excel data. So we are basically going to update the values of our table. So from here, I will use set variable and over here I will use my bracket, I mean percentage Excel data followed by our row right our row counter here and then our column index which is 2 and then put a percentage here and the value that we are going to write here is column A plus column B. Over here, let me remove the percentage here. Alright. So let's take a look at how it, it manipulates the Excel data variable here. Okay, so if I open my Excel data, now my column has the total value. But my sum, the Excel access, is not updated. So I will make use of my write to Excel worksheet over here. And I do another write to of my Excel data to my column A at row 1. So this will replace everything. Alright, that's all for this exercise. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel.